Ten craziest things you can buy in China. Now we know that in China you can buy all sorts of crazy things, but how crazy can they be? The very first one: live crabs from vending machines. Now we we love crab, not the other video that we did. Actual potato, the crab. Yeah, not that crab. This kind of crab, and. Vending machines. I think actually that's pretty creative. How do they keep it fresh? It's well, a frozen. It's uh, the, it's actually a fridge, so the oh. temperature kind of, kind of like is kept inside. Kind of like the Coca Cola. Chill, but they're alive, so they keep them under a certain temperature. At, at a temperature where mm. it keeps them just just alive, mm -hmm. just enough to stay alive. Mm -hmm. But isn't also the uh, there's a period of time in Hong Kong and China, da jia pai ge right? There's certain types of crab. I don't know what's in Fall English. Season. Fall season, right? Yeah. Then they like from a certain lake. Yeah. A certain area in China, very very famous, right?、Mm -hmm. They have a lot of those、uh, miso, the crab miso, very well known. Crab brain. Yeah, crab brain, which is be like beautiful, tastes really really good.、Mm -hmm. One of my favorite.、Mm -hmm. And they sell that. You can see in Hong Kong when during during that season, a lot of the stores on the street would sell that.、Mm -hmm. Very with, popular. Right. Yes. Very delicious. Very delicious. Yes. Yeah. And it's also a family thing. They get together and we eat、yeah. each crab、mm. together, right? They sell in all the airport. All the airport. Yeah,、mm. this box says. Even、yeah. for gifts, yeah. 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 So vending machine is actually not that weird to me. <laughs> Number two, panda tea. Oh. Panda tea. Panda tea. Panda tea. Panda. Now you've heard of the cat poop coffee, which is the most expensive coffee in the world. This is like panda poop tea. <laughs> <laughs> Right? This is how expensive. Now, this is. is how expensive it is. Listen to this. One dry kilo、yeah. of the tea runs you about seventy-seven thousand dollars U.S. U.S. seventy-seven thousand dollar U.S. one kilo. That is even more expensive.、Mm. The cat poop coffee thing is three thousand dollars. Yeah. So for a small cup. For a small cup. Yes. So think about it. But one zip, like one thousand dollars. I just <laughs> it's one two thousand dollars just like that, right? Now, why is it so expensive? Now. Obviously, panda is very precious. I I, I believe you're not gonna get this from like certain store. You probably get it from like certain destination、mm -hmm. area. I think there's、right? a special can, a panda、like、garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like、mm -hmm. what is it? Kind of like a gift shop after merchandise after the tour, maybe. <laughs> can you imagine after they see the panda? Hey, you wanna buy some panda poop tea? Seventy-seven thousand dollars. Hey, I'm just looking for a keychain. I don't want to buy some ten thousand dollar tea, right? That's kind of a little bit strange.、Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever seen. There's a live panda TV,、yeah. and then you can see live stream inside the garden of the panda. They actually poop a lot. They poop a lot because they eat all the time. Poop <laughs> like this big. Yeah, they gotta clean it. So I mean, they turn that expensive. They turn that trash into seventy-seven thousand dollars per kilo. Well, it's so exclusive because pandas only live in China. Yeah, and also、mm -hmm. I, I think、yeah. it's they have some special. Government connection to、mm -hmm. do this, interesting. <laughs> Number three, food prepared, cooked, and served by robots.、Mm. That's interesting. So they're talking about this. These robots are being mass produced and sold for the equivalent of two thousand U.S. dollars.、Mm -hmm. Over three thousand of them have been sold. This I could actually see. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. I think not just in China. I think more now artificial intelligence over the world. Which is a little bit scary, you know. Look, look, look listening to Elon Musk,、mm -hmm. right? It's more a darker view of this.、Mm -hmm. With AI, yeah, I mean, sooner or later, even I think within us, within X amount of years, you go to the fast food store, you're not talking to human, you're talking to a robot, right?、Mm -hmm. And then you have your wallet, which is part of your eye, your phone, dude, and then you get the food. I, I can see that already happening, right?、Mm -hmm. Another one. Canned air. We've talked about this. Yes, we did in another、right? episode. So you've, if you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. Press、yeah. I there. You can see the other episode. Yes, definitely. I think it's still a hot commodity there, right? I know China has been putting in efforts to. I mean, they've announced a lot of things that they're doing、mm. to clean up the air. They're very serious about this. They are very serious, but at the same time, it's still so polluted at the moment、mm. that people are still continuously buying clean air. Right, just to, you know, it's almost like doing drugs. So like, let me take a sniff of this can,、mm. but not too much because this can of air is expensive.、Mm -hmm. Right, so they get doses of clean air. And I bet those, like even、uh, air filter kind of machine, they purifier. Mu purifier. Oh, they're selling they, crazy. They must like、Definitely. mask. They must sell very very well.、Mm -hmm. Like whoever is selling that is making a fortune.、Mm -hmm. I could see that. Traffic jam stand-ins. 
What does that mean? So, you know, in China, in another episode, we talked about, you know, people say traffic jams in LA are crazy, but you go to China, traffic jams can last for weeks. Yeah, days okay? and weeks. Literally weeks. So, obviously, you don't want to be stuck in the car, so you hire someone to come and find your car and sit in your car for oh. you. Oh. While you go and get a meal or use the washroom. That is awesome. And it's not so different from people, you know, they, they pay you 20 bucks to stand in line. Yeah, like, like you know, people at, at lining up for Apple. Exactly. Or, yeah, I could see that pay the guy. I, I could actually see this. Yeah, so if, you're, if you know you're going to be stuck at weeks at a time, it makes sense. That's kind of funny. And yeah. you know... But why you want to do it in the first place if you know you're going to be stuck? Well, no, but you got to go someplace, right? You just oh, got to okay. go someplace. So mm. during the period of time, mm. it's already happening. That makes sense. And no, you know, they probably can't take your car anywhere because... It's stuck. Yeah. So I guess in China the human labor is really very cheap. cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you spend a bit of money, they would they would do that. Number five, dwarf dwarf tours. Tours. Hmm. I think I think I've seen this before. Oh. Yeah, like kind of they have it's kind of like even at this like a miniature and then they have this mm -hmm. dwarf, mm -hmm. right? Tours. Not different than uh, is it like like was it a uh, Law of the Ring? They what is it? Hobbit. The hobbits? Yeah, it's kind of similar to that, mm -hmm. right? Okay. It's, it's kind of like the culture. Special I could see that. Mm -hmm. That is actually not that strange to me. Okay. This is number six. Obama fried chicken. Now, this is neat. <laughs> this is totally racist. Obama, check this out. Yeah. He didn't even know. From, from, the, from, the, from, the old, from the old white man, it becomes yeah. Obama, right? OFC. Yeah, OFC. <laughs> now, it, it goes to show you the whole the copyright infringement and all of that from before but now they, 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 it's better but before it doesn't mean shit it doesn't mean anything in mm -hmm. China but now they're like being more yes, yes. you know more conscious about the, the copyright infringement and all yes. that you can actually trademark and everything else but <laughs> that is one good photo <laughs> that is so awesome and look at the smile exactly right? same smile exactly the same smile right <laughs> OFC you know if I go to China I would want to try this I just want to see what's the difference Give, give me some OFC. Oh my god. Number seven, live turtle key rings. Um, I've seen this. I actually think this is a little bit cruel. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the turtle, they will die. Mm -hmm. they, won't, they won't last. They fill with the bag with bubbles, some nutrition, and feed the culture. It like, only lasts for a certain time. Certain time. Three to four months. Yeah, but so they're trapped in there. They're trapped in there. Yeah. Ideally, if you actually buy it and you bring it Release home it. no bring it home and you actually feed it but if you actually put a keychain i think this is cool this is one of the things i do not like mm -hmm. about like sometimes china they just make money they don't treat the animals yeah. very very nicely oh. that's that's just wrong number nine white people <laughs> this is actually no exaggeration i'll share a story with you that chinese they they like to show off because they view that the Western businesses and business people, the white guys, they, they, they like the, it gives them the prestige. Mm -hmm. So the if international, international I'm doing some business, I've got some business partner overseas, really, like you can talk about the, the guy that yeah. we know. You can tell you, she can share that story. Oh well, yeah, basically I know a really big business owner in China and then uh, mm -hmm. he hired a Caucasian guy in mm -hmm. Canada mm -hmm. and then asked him- Paying salary, everything? Ask him to be the president. And the guy is very incompetent, so, so you know. <laughs> We're not going to give any names, but yeah. And then basically hired this guy for years, but then basically just want him to bring him back to China once a year to show him off to all his business friends in China. Yeah. That's, I think that's yeah. his only purpose. Yeah, yeah. So the guy's actually he's doing some work, but really is to show off and bring him yeah. in, and he would take him everywhere to meet with all these Chinese government officials oh look at my partner from from north america blah 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 so that's actually important because the way he sees it i kind of hire this guy it makes me look good gives me prestige and, and status but at the same time he also impressed the other potential partners oh you're international you you do business with people american that's awesome maybe i should do business with you so you don't know what they're thinking but you can actually rent like this that's that's what we mean Right, you buy that status, not actually for the work, it's just for mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. That actually happens. Like marketing. It's part of marketing, branding. Number 10, the last one, tea picked by the mouth of a virgin. What? Tea picked by the mouth of a virgin. This, this is 
reminds me of the marketing gimmick where the Cuban cigar, kind of like they roll the 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 cigar on the thigh of a virgin. It's kind of a similar idea, oh, right? That's just really. What's very interesting in the job the the job hiring ad for this, they only they want the girl to be virgin, only also C cup and up. So they put you can see the picture to to, to put the little basket between her breasts. Oh. So you grab it with the mouth, right? You grab it with the mouth, put it here. That's so like this. Like so very labor intensive. Very labor intensive. <laughs> yeah. Labor you know, intensive. So yeah. they make it very sexual, yeah. very that's a selling point. That's so uncomfortable right? for women to see that. I think they would sell more, they actually filmed that. <laughs> like this is the back of tea leaves. That. You gotta show. Right? Cause by this lady, by this girl. No, no, it could be. They, that's the infomercial, but the reality, they have like 65 year old, like grandma, <laughs> fucking looking up the leaves and, and put it, put it's it in there. Oh, it's fuck, it's a guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what would happen. Why is my tea not working? Uh, how come, no, how come my tea tastes funny? <laughs> a lot of crazy things you can buy in China. A lot of weird things you can buy in China. If you want to check out some of the other videos that we have, we just made also a video about some of the strange things you can find at the, in China at Walmart. If you want to check that out, make sure you click on check out the videos on the left, right? If you, this is the first time you're watching a video, don't forget to click subscribe. Subscribe. And if you're watching my videos for some time, come on, hit the subscribe button. Every single day we upload a new video. Decode China, we upload a new video every single week. So you don't want to miss an episode. Comment below and let us know what other things you want to learn, you're interested in about China, or what videos that you want us to make. Your feedback is important. You listen to your feedback, let us know, and we'll make those videos for you. Until next time, I'll see you in the next episode.